Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Karin and welcome back for another video. Today's video was supposed to be my October setup in the giveaway bullet journal that we gave away earlier this year, but for a myriad of reasons I don't have that one for you today. That one will be coming out on Sunday instead, but in today's video I wanted to do something I haven't really done in quite a while, it's a bit more of a casual video. And this pretty much comes from the fact that I'm trying some new things in my journal that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you watched it, you may have seen that the weeklies that I'm using for September are these Dutch door weeklies, where I have a section down the bottom here, which is split into Jashi Corinne things, school things, home things, and personal things. I have these two checklists on the side here, which are related to these two checklists. And because of the way the Dutch door is set up, it doesn't really matter where I've got the pages, I can always see what's on those checklists. At the top, we've got the meal plan and my priorities for the month. And on each of the weeklies, I also have space to record what's happening each day. Now, as much as I like these weeklies, last week I found that I wasn't really using them. And because I've recently started getting into the videos of Claudia Kai here on YouTube, I also wanted to try a different style for taking down my tasks. So that's when I set up this. Effectively what it is is a running to-do list where I've got a section for each week. So I write out my tasks for the first week, when I get to the end of that week I rule it off and then start the next week. In terms of the columns on the left hand side, I have a column for each day of the week. So you can see at the top here we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I've also left a blank column here so that if I migrate any tasks, I can put the icon for migration in there. On this one a partial cross, or like a slash, just indicates that I've started the task, whereas a cross indicates that I've completely done it and a dot indicates when I've scheduled the task. So for instance, marking my year 11 phys chem formative, I've scheduled this one for Thursday. I have actually used a layout similar to this one before. I used it for a weekly back in March of last year, but I found it didn't really work that well last March. This one on the other hand, I have been finding very, very useful. So I figured in this video, I'd just show you how I set it up. I think something that I appreciate with this style of recording my tasks is that it's really simple. And life at the moment is a lot busier than I had initially anticipated when setting up for September. So this kind of simplicity is something that's been very valuable to me. I was pretty tempted to go back to the super simple style that I used in November of last year, where I just had like, you know, a title for each day of the week and then I write down my tasks at the end of the day, new title, new tasks. Although simple, I really like how this looks and I was tempted to use this, as I said, but the thing that I found difficult with this style is that there was nowhere really to write tasks for days that were not the day you were on. So for instance, this one's Tuesday 24th of November, and there was no easy way in the system to record tasks for say the 26th of November or the 28th. That's what I kind of like about this one because it's using the Alistair method on the side. It means you can record tasks for days that aren't the day you're currently on. Flipping over though, we're going to set up a new one because as you can see, I've gotten to the end of this page and I know I have more tasks to get done this week, so I need more space. Please excuse the little black mark here. I accidentally dropped my pen onto the page. At the moment, I've been really enjoying using my Papermate Inkjoy pen in my journal. Typically, I use the Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens, but I've just found that I actually don't really enjoy writing with fine liners, whereas this ballpoint pen is lovely to write with, so that's what I've been using. As I said though, the setup of this one is super simple, so it's just going in and putting in those lines of color effectively, and then writing out the initials for the days of the week at the top. You'll note that my colored lines on this page are very straight, and that's because I used washi borders when I put them in. I could just go and put in a stroke of my Tombow pen, but because it's so simplistic, I felt like I wanted to take the extra couple minutes to lay the washi out and actually color it in, in a way that gave me nice crisp lines. For this one, I'm gonna need four colored lines per page because I do Monday colored, Tuesday not, Wednesday colored, Thursday not, Friday colored, Saturday not, and Sunday colored. To make sure that I'm lining up my washi tape nice and straight, I just line the edge of the washi up with the dots on my page. It is good to note here that if you're using washi tape to do masking like this, try to pick a washi that isn't too sticky because you don't want to rip your page when you pull it up in the end. For my coloring, I'm just using the same Tombows that I've been using for all of September. I do try and do my colored strip in one stroke just because if you go over multiple times with the Tombow, you do get a darkening effect. 
It's really a personal choice, that's just the way I prefer it for this kind of spread. First one done, only seven more to go. I do find with this masking technique you can reuse the washi tape as well, so I just do one and then pull them both up, move them both over, and then do the next one. If you care about getting crisp ends as well, you could put washi at the top and bottom, but I don't really care that much. <laughs> Get that washi tape straight. Yeah. That is the wrong colour, but that's fine. And now I've done a double stroke because that's my life it seems. I did not pick up the right colour of pen, but that is fine. That is just fine. <laughs> I am annoyed. <laughs> So you can see this one here, the third one in, is a lot darker because I had to go over with my pen a couple of times here because I picked the wrong colored pen up. So doesn't quite look the same as what we had last week yet. You can see that that color is distinctly not that color, but it's fine. We keep on keeping on. It is also good to note that if you're going to use washi tape to mask your page, some washi tapes are quite water resistant, and if you're using water-based markers, sometimes the colour can beat up on the surface of the washi tape, and you don't want to, I don't know, smudge it off the washi tape onto your page. Now as we've got the coloured lines in though, we can just go an initial at the top here, and then also write what week of the month it is. So like you can see on this page, I write Monday through to Sunday and the dates for those. And then just rule a line under this to separate it from my task list. There we go though, nice and simple, really straightforward as I said, but I've really been enjoying using it. Something I didn't mention before is that when I cross a task off, I do like to draw a connecting line between the cross for that task and the task itself. Just because although it's quite easy to see vertically what I've got going on, so Monday's column, Tuesday's column, Wednesday, etc. The colours make it really easy to see. It can be a little difficult without having to like, you know, guide my eye across. See what that X is actually associated with. So I do try to make sure that as I work in this, I am actually connecting those check marks to the tasks they're associated with. While I have been enjoying doing my writing with my Inkjoy pen, I do like to do those connecting lines with a thinner pen, just because it's a little less obtrusive. To save time, I probably could have done those connecting lines without a ruler, but I do prefer the way it looks with a ruler. Despite having this task list look really full and having just set up another one, I am still using these weekly spreads. I'm just using them in conjunction with a running task list. As I said, things are really busy at the moment, so having the simplicity of a layer like this has been really helpful. Question of the day for you guys though, how does your planning change when you get really busy? Honestly, most of the time I find that when I'm really busy, I fully neglect my journal, which is why last week when I started getting quite busy, you can see this weekly didn't really get used quite as much. I have started to find workarounds though, obviously, because I did use this section quite a lot. A little bit of a different style video today team, but thank you for watching and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity and personal development. Until next time, bye!